Hey uh, YouTube, everybody. Um, it's been a long time since I've added any content to my channel. And uh, I figured now would be a good time to add something new. Uh, first, I'd like to tell everybody I appreciate the, the subscribes. I think I had around like 250 subscribers. And that's, that's big to me. I never would have thought anybody would have seen any of my videos. as interesting. <laughs> You never know. Get out there and, and make some tutorials and some, some open boxings or whatever it is you're into. And just don't worry about the, the negative comments or what anybody says. Just get out there and, you know, do your thing. Well, anyway, this gadget here, it's uh, pretty heavy. And I'm trying not to scratch my table up. Is a, this is a telephone magneto. I'm sure some people come into this video and know exactly what it is, and I'm sure that they'll know a thousand times more about it than I do. But this is just a simple, primitive device that was used to create an electrical current to ring a bell on a phone. Um, this brand, uh, Stromberg and Carlson Telephone Manufacturing Company, Rochester, New York, Chicago, Illinois. I found this in a, at an auction and I bought it. I like the look of it. I like the antique and, you know, just the, the wholesomeness and the, the tank-like construction. I, I like the look of things like that. The black and the brass accents look good to me and I was going to use it more or less as a, a decoration in my man cave. But uh, basically what you have here is you've got a couple shafts. You have one here. You'll probably be able to see it going through. You have that shaft that's connected to the, the larger gear. And then you'll have another shaft right here that is connected to uh, a coal that's on the bottom. And um, basically you've got uh, some bearings or like uh, casters. That these little holes right here, there's two little holes on each side. You got one right there, one right here. Those little holes are for uh, putting your oil in. So it's a good idea to oil these. I mean, I'm now this this technology is is it, it isn't dead by any means, but I'm sure. The technology with bearings has improved, so it's probably be, probably be a good idea to go ahead and put some oil in this before I show you what I'm about to. We'll do a couple tests on the, the voltage by hand, kind of work that oil in these bearings. And uh, if you properly oil these bearings, it's not much trouble at all to turn these things. I mean, it's it doesn't take much. But anyway, let's cut to the chase here. I got a little voltage meter, and if you look on the side, this top screw right here is going to be your positive, and this is going to be your negative. Like I said, if I if I'm wrong about any of this, feel free to leave a comment and um, let me familiarize myself a little more with this. But, let's see. Let's see what kind of voltage we can get out of this. This is just by hand. Really don't need anything underneath that coal that'll get sucked in. I'm barely using any effort here. I'm getting around 40 volts. Looks like pretty consistently. I mean, with little to no effort, just I mean, I'm not turning it fast at all. And then, okay, and you can get more voltage holding it with two hands. I think we get close to about 80 there, close. But uh, the interesting thing about this, I'm guessing these horseshoe magnets are maybe Al Nico. Somebody knows uh, 
give me a comment and uh, educate me a little further. I know that advancements in magnets from you know El Nico and ceramic and neodymium. I'm not real sure. I want to say that this uh, particular magneto is probably close to 120 years old. But anyway, in modern days, our alternators in our vehicles that create voltage is uh, regulated by a voltage regulator. And um, this magneto doesn't have that. So if, you're, if you have one and you're trying to create a higher voltage, what I did is I take the handle off and uh, put a drill on there. So, let's see what kind of voltage you would get with the drill mod. That's going to be over 200. I'll go back to the other setting that I was using before. I don't even think it'll register this voltage. No, it's over 200. So, uh, I know that these magnetos are abused by certain people. I know that these magnetos are experimental for some type of people. Uh, some people use these for phones. Some people use these to catch worms. Some people use these to catch fish. But, um... Uh, I'm not going to do any of that. I'm just going to use this as a on my bookshelf uh, man cave gadget. Uh, I might even wire it to where it'll shock you when somebody comes up and turns it. Who knows? But uh, you can get a hell of a lot more voltage out of it if you hook a drill up to it. Thanks for watching.